Hello everybody and welcome to Minecraft. Yes, I know Minecraft. You know that thing that you probably forgot existed somehow. So, we are here. I'm on a flat map and uh, today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be building uh well the first in a long series of videos I'm going to be doing hopefully which will be uh showing you how I build in Minecraft uh, cuz I have a, a huge city that I built for 4 years. Uh, which it, it's kind of too laggy to do anything with the shaders don't really like it because I use a little blocks but I, I wanted to show people how I build so we're gonna start the first building uh, I it's one of my favorite buildings from New York just because it's it it's it's such a good example of how buildings used to be built and is the American radiator building today known as the Bryant Park Hotel you can look it up it's really stunning because it's a uh, like very very dark brown almost black bricks uh, with gold detailing so it stands out against it has very good contrast with itself and it stands out from all the other buildings in Bryan Park because everything else is white or regular brick and there's modern buildings and old buildings but it really stands out it's not very tall I mean it it's probably around 20 stories but it's very very stunning to look at so the first thing we have to do is we're starting on a blank slate here obviously the first building I'm building so building I'm building so what we have to do is we have to mark out our floor plan so the four corners of our building so now this building uh, is basically you have a tower bit and you have uh, just a regular uh, shorter bit. So you have the first four, first four floors are all the same height, and then once you get above four floors, half of the building just stops going up, and the other half becomes the tower part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out the the floor plan, and it's going to be split into two bits, so I know where the tower goes. So first of all. The tower on these pictures that I'm looking at obviously need reference. So uh, I'm going to count here how many blocks we're probably going to need. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's like 21. So 20 and 20 and then one in the middle. Alright, so we're going to start here. Now in real life the building the front of the building is north, so behind me from where I'm currently facing, so the front of the building will be that way. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, that's the center. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. So then what we have here is the front of the building, which seems rather long, but in real life you have to account that it is a fairly long building. So now uh, what we want to do is this 21 here is the half that's going to have the tower bit, uh, but the tower, the tower itself will be 21 by 21, so the building will be 21 deep as well. So we're going to measure that out now. Uh, is it going to be 21 deep? No, the, the tower is going to be... 20 deep. Right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's the other corner right there. And then uh, this will come out to here, but one short of that. Okay, and then we'll go all the way over here. There we are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a block here saying that's the middle, but that's the actual part for the tower. Alright, so this is what we have, and yes I'm marking it on bedrock, but that doesn't really matter. So this is the floor plan, so the left part will become the tower. The right part will just stay at four stories tall. So now we need the material for the bottom. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna do the outside. I'm not gonna worry too much about the inside. I don't really focus on the inside of buildings for the most part. Uh, I generally just do the inside. What does this block of coal look like? And what does obsidian look like? I need a black for the bottom that's not like bricks. I'm gonna use this block. Of, I'm gonna use a block of coal. All right, so we're gonna do this all the way around. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put bedrock here, just to show that that is the edge of the tower. Nope, I started putting obsidian down after that. There we go. Gotta stay consistent. Alright, so we're gonna put obsidian all the way around the bottom. 
I will misplace blocks a lot, just saying. Uh, now, f because this building is among other buildings, the back of it, uh, because there'd be other buildings here, the street's not here, it's not a whole block, the back of it doesn't have to actually be uh, obsidian. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the brick that the rest of the building's made out of, which we're going to be using this black stained clay that I've turned into bricks. We're going to be using this as the bricks. So we're just going to lay this out as the rest of the back of the building, because this part doesn't need to have obsidian. The only reason that it's black on the front is for, for show, because that's what the people see when they walk by and they see the building. They don't see the back of the building, you know, where all the cargo drops off, drop-offs are and where the garbage is. Nobody cares about that. There we go. All right, so that's the outline for our building. So now what we need to do is figure out how the ground floor of this looks, and it's, a, it's, a, it's slightly intricate. It's not too bad. We have a very tall first floor, which looks to be uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Nine blocks tall, plus a floor, so ten. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a ten block tall wall of coal. That was a hard sentence to get out. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that's the first floor, but because this is Minecraft, it seems a little too tall. Just a tiny bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it only eight tall. That seems about right. Yeah, that looks about right. So, you can measure it from real life, but then when you get into Minecraft, you're going to realize, okay, so it's not as tall as I quite thought it was, so let me adjust. Because, uh, especially for me, I mean, I know a meter is like almost three feet, uh, but being an American, I'm usually exposed to feet and yards, so I have to kind of judge what looks like a, a meter, because since the block in Minecraft are a meter by a meter by a meter, they are a cubic meter of material, so I kind of have to judge what's what a meter looks like in real life from pictures, and sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard, but you'll figure it out once you start building, because it'll either look right or look too tall, too short, too long, too wide. You get used to it after you build a lot. It's just one of those things. Okay, so we're going to fill all of this in with black. Alright, so this is going to be the front facade. And then we're going to put the windows in after this. Okay. So, there we go, there we go, there we go. Any spots I missed? Yes. Anything else that I missed? No. Okay. So, that's our front facade done. Now, obviously, it didn't have any windows or doors. Now, the facade goes above that for another floor. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another three onto this. So there we go. That's the height of the front facade. Now it seems a little tall, uh, because it is. It's a, it's a three-story facade essentially, because the first floor is about two stories tall, and then you have the what is technically the second floor, which is thir three stories up. So it seems like a very tall facade, but not actually that tall when you think about it. I mean, it is. So, we have our front facade done. I'm not going to worry about the back until we do the windows on this. So, our windows now. Um, on the left side, we go in three until our windows. So, I'm going I'm to do the top windows first. So, we go in three. So, one, two, three, there. What was that three? No, that was two. There and there. And then every one. And that's all the way across for five. Five of these windows. Now we should be somewhere near the center. Yes, okay, good. So now we have uh, about three or four in between. And then, let's see. Okay, so looks like we have three or four in between and then just two, so we'll go with three, and then just a regular one wide window. Do I have any of the other side of the bottom? Okay, good. I do. And it's another block of three, and then double wide windows until the end. Alright, so is that right in the center? That is. Okay, so one, two, 
is it? No, it's not in the center. It's at the. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this four, so it's right in the center, and then one, two, three, four. There we go. So then it should be the same amount of windows as on the other side. And this is three. There we go. All right, so let's get our windows. Uh, we're probably going to do uh, some sort of co coating on the outside of these windows so they look like they do in real life. But for now, I'm just going to put the windows there as placeholders. Okay. And it'll also kind of break up the facade a little bit so we can get a, a better idea of what's where. All right, so that is our windows done, which is good. So now we need to think about our ground floor. So for the bottom, our windows go like this. So these two are windows, and then the space in between is the door, and then these two are windows below. So what we're going to do is we are going to just get windows. Whoops, that's too far over. For five, and then to the end of this one. One, two, three, four, five. So the middle of that, that is the doors right there. Now that's a little, it seems a little thin. Why is it so thin? Ah, because this one's in the wrong spot. There we go. Okay. So now this goes all the way up. How high does that go until, I would say there's two blocks in between these. Does that look about right in real life? Yes, it does. Okay. So here are the windows for this. There we are. Okay. And we'll put some coal on the ground just to encase the windows. All right. So then we will put our windows in. And of course, you know, we're going to edit these later. We're going to put little blocks on them so they look like better windows rather than just huge blocks of glass, essentially. There we are. Okay. All right, so now we have the door to think about. Now that we've got the windows on each side, we have the door to think about. And the door itself, we're going to have in here, like so, up to there. Uh, actually, no, one, one less. Does that look good? Yeah, that looks OK. Now there's going to be a lot of little works a little blocks works by the door because there's an arch and there's also some ornamentation but for right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do this and I'm just going to uh, save this place as the door and there's two blocks of glass and then the actual doors are there so we're just gonna save that right now as the door we'll put in the arch and all the stuff later right now I just want to focus on the actual front of the building so now the other side from here all the way over is all one big window which we will like I said add the thing later so it breaks it up makes it look more like it does in real life and not just an enormous window alright we breaking all the obsidian it's not even obsidian good job brain alright there we go putting down the rest of the coal filling this block back in and filling this up with glass. Okay. All right, so we're gonna get this going and we'll finish the front facade and then we'll get working on the next floor. All right, so what we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the first four, four floors and then I'm gonna do all the ornamentation for those because uh, above floor three, is where the ornamentation on the tower stops and it kind of goes all the way up and then at the top there's more so that'll be a good place to flush out the ornamentation for the bottom and then the ornamentation on the non-tower side stops at four so now uh... the next floor is actually indented one block so we'll have to take that into account so basically what it is is you have this here so for each of these you have one. So this one goes up for this floor, up four, I would say. And then you have one that's sort of indented. We're gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the carpenter's blocks out, because that's kind of what it looks like. We're gonna get you and you. There we go. 
It's indented, but it's not indented what I would consider a full block. It's only indented a few bricks, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. And there we go. Okay. Now this one, however, is indented like so, and then it has stairs. Well, sort of stairs. Does it have stairs? Or a s I think what we're going to put for that one... Yeah, those are, those are definitely going to be... Uh, they should be wedges, I think. Well, they, they should be wedges, but I think what's going to be better is stairs. Yeah, we're going to have to do step blocks for that. But it's not going to be brown, it's going to be whatever gold we're using. Okay, and then this continues over like this. If anyone's doing any sort of building that um, they're going to be using their own blocks for, I would highly suggest you get the Carpenter's Block mod because it makes uh, making building so much easier because you can use all sorts of textures for whatever blocks you need. Okay, so that's that, and that goes. All right, that's wonderful. Okay, blah 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 blah. All right, so we'll stop there for now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this and this. Oh no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. We need to get the gold out. Where's the gold? Need block of gold. There we go. Block of gold. There we go. Okay. So now the this one here and that one on the end have one in the middle with bricks on the sides, uh, but that's going to be very hard to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to treat them like the rest of them, put double windows, uh, just for ease of building. All right, so now what we have here is what I'm going to do is I'm going to get like this brown like so. I'm going to deviate a little bit in some areas just to make it easier for me uh, because obviously I'm building it, so the easier it makes it for me. You know, no one's really going to say, oh, he didn't do that properly, I don't like this building. You know, it's just, it just uh, makes it a little bit more Minecraft-y, because Minecraft, you can't be perfect. Uh, because if you try and be perfect in Minecraft, it's not going to work. Alright, uh, now, thinking here. Alright, I've changed my mind on this. This is going to be a full indent just because of how I need to build the rest. Uh, this is going to have to be a half block in, like so. There we go. And it's going to have to be the same all the way down. Here we are. Okay, and stack, 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 stack. So now these are these are um, bla the brick, but they have sort of like a gold trim in the middle. Uh, we'll just ignore the gold trim in the middle, just because it makes it a little easier. Um, I mean, alternatively, I could just do them as full gold, but I think that would be a little too much, because there's going to be so much more gold on this building, we don't really need that extra gold. So we'll just leave it like that. And then in the middle, we need to, well, behind them, we need to put the rest of the pillar obviously for in between the windows. Okay, and then we're gonna get to the windows. I threw away my glass somewhere. Here we are. Okay. That's the first layer of windows done. My laptop's telling me to get Windows 10, no thank you. Alright, um, so then the third layer is going to be okay. So the third layer is more gold and whatnot. So on the left side. So now we're gonna now I'm gonna break out the little blocks because if not I'm gonna lose track of all of this. All right, so I need tools. This is gonna be my first little blocks lesson. <laughs> all right, so this is the little wand. It lets you build lots of little blocks in one block, so it turns this block into 512 smaller blocks. So you can do crazy stuff, like uh, layer things with gold. 
like so. Take this, and on the bottom of this one, now it's going to be really hard to see because it's black on black, but here's the bottom. So you take the gold, you lace it around. <laughs> you can see why I love this mod so much, because you can just add some nice detailing that you can't do with full-size bricks. Alright, so this goes... Oh, no, not you, sir. This goes around like so. There we are. That goes around like that on the building. And then the top is sort of three. Now again, it's not going to be perfect. It's just going to be what I can do feasibly. I have to fudge the measurements a bit, but, you know. It is what it is. Alright, there we go. So now, what we have is at the top of this. And I think what I might do... I think what I might do is this. I'm gonna get brown wool. Brown wool. No, not brown wool. Brown wool is way too light. Gray stained clay, will this work for me? Or is that too light? I think that may be a tiny bit too light. Uh, hmm. I think I'm just going to use this. That way, I can still do the detailing on these, because I don't need the brick texture to be there, which means I can use the little blocks. Alright, so, now I need gold again. Crap. Oh, that actually worked. Amazing. They must have updated that. Alright, so this is kind of like upside down crenellations. There we go. Okay. So now, this is... Alright, so the, the middle of this, we have little blocks here. All I need to do is this. And the best part of this is I have a copy feature, so I can copy this easily. Okay. Gold. Gold. And then I need a... The lighter brown, so we'll use the brown cloth. But it's it's in here. It's indented one. There we are. Okay. There we are. All right, and then the same with the rest. Whoops! Too many. The gold all the way up. There we go. Whoops, I've fallen off my building. You will fall fall off a lot. You may as well change your name to Fall Off a Lot. He fell off a lot. That's a Shadow of his or Fell reference. For those of you who didn't get it. Fell off a lot. He fell off a lot. Rip Rip fell off a lot. Okay, so now it's gonna add a nice is going to break up the, the face of the building a little bit because you're not just going to have full brick, you're going to have other things that draw your eye. Which is the whole point of this kind of architecture. Alright, so now let's get the little wand and we're going to go to copy mode. So we right click with copy and we can paste all the way down. There we are. Okay. So that looks a, that looks a lot better than just straight brick. Alright, <clears throat> so now when we get to the top of this one it turns into... All right, so I'm going to copy it again, but I need to change it a little bit. Also, this has another ledge on top of there, like so. Alright, so now it um, goes up about halfway and then stops. So, let's see. Up to here. One, two, three, four. So we'll put it stopping there. Right, so we'll get rid of all this. Get out of here. If you're wondering if you accidentally place an entire copy of one of these, do you have to delete it by hand? No. Uh, you can use the delete function that's on here, which is very helpful. I'm so glad they added that at one point. Okay, so now we have to make these weird things that are decorative. I'm going to have to zoom into these. 
All right, so it looks like um, okay. Now this, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna do this and this, and actually I'm gonna leave that one there. This is gonna go up to on the next level. There we are. Okay. Does that go on the side at all? Sort of does. Alright, there we go. I'm just going to do that, and then along here. And then I'm just going to cap it off with this. Because remember, in architectural design, it's only what you really see from the street that matters. Uh, in a lot of buildings like this, you'll find that it's mostly a facade, and then behind that facade, there really isn't much. It's kind of like today's buildings, where the facade is really everything, but the facade back then was so much more well thought out and detailed because they were trying to impress the rich folk. Okay, so now we have that. What we need to do is start doing this. So... The brown itself actually continues up a little bit. Continues up for about two or three more blocks. So I will put that back for two blocks. All right. And then here what we have is sort of like this. And then we have another one out. There we go, like so. And then we have, that goes up for another block, like that, and then the middle goes up quite a few, like so, and then uh, still more, maybe one more, alright, maybe maybe another, another one there, okay, and then we have this that also goes up. A little bit higher, and then cross it over it like so, but not with those. And then right here, there's another bit that comes out like so. The complicatedness of building these things sometimes is crazy. All right, so then back here, what we're gonna have is this is gonna go up two more. Whoops, not that one. This. It's going to go up, actually, just one more, up to the roof, or the top of this floor, and then it's going to turn into gold. This, Like I said, this building does have a lot of, at least, gold coloring on it, maybe brass, but it's got a lot of shiny goldness. Okay. So then that goes up to this thing that we made. Along here, it goes up to there. There we are, okay. Now that. Okay, this now goes back and it's just this that comes up like this, and it's going to go like this, and then we have this that comes there. Is that acceptable, brain? I think so. That looks alright to me. And then I'm just going to guess about the dimensions. I'm going to guess it comes probably to here. And then we will just make it all go back like so. Now, it's not exactly the same as it is, but you get the idea. That actually kind of looks like what the building's going to look like when we're done. Alright, so that works for me. There, There's a bit of a ledge to the next level of building, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me see here. 
zoom into this picture. Okay, so these go right up to the next level, I think. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring it back a few. Like this. There we are. And then we will finish. Now this end one uh, actually can stay how it is, never mind. There we go. Alright, we'll just leave that the way it is for now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get a block here, because you need a block to paste it onto. So we're going to go into copy, and paste, 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 paste all the gold. And then copy this, paste, 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 paste. There we go, I'm fairly happy with that outcome. And we'll just add the top ourselves. Oh, no, all the way. And actually what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, yeah, that looks a little better. Delete that so it's not as flat in the front. Okay, there we go, there we go. Ta-da! All right, well, two more. And then I think I will end this episode here, uh, just so you can get a break from me drolling on about building. The next episode, we're going to finish the facade of the first four floors, and we will move on then in the next next episode to the tower itself. But anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching. Let me know what you think, and uh, I know it's not going to happen anytime soon. But what building I should try to build next? Your suggestions are always appreciated. But uh, anyway, guys, I will see you all in the next episode of Minecraft Let's Build.